squatting in front of the school. I'm here because I pick up my children from the school and I have to step over migrants squatting in front of the school, eating or doing, just sitting there. I really appreciate if you push them, bring them away from the school. If they have to be across the street from the school, that's fine. But would you please get them away from the school? They can't possibly be in front of the school while I pick up my children. Queens Village residents are again protesting migrants being moved into their neighborhood. This is absolutely a disgrace, okay? So we're going to be here until this is taken down. I am an immigrant too, but I came legally. And it took me 15 years. And it's not fair. This tent put up by the city can house up to a thousand single adult men. Security outside the facility is tight. It's right near the Creedmoor Psychiatric Center. Demonstrators say the shelter is too close to a school. Republicans Curtis Sliwa and Long Island Representative George Santos making appearances to show solidarity with the crowd. This protest follows similar demonstrations in Staten Island, where migrants are being put up in an old school building. Mayor Adams says more than 110,000 asylum seekers have come to the city in the last year. He continues to call for more help. Take that number, he just said. Times it by three from the state and the federal government. And Wednesday, he made this dire prediction. This issue will destroy New York City. Will destroy New York City. But you allowed it to happen. All these things is, is done, is, it's all done on purpose. They're, it's all done on purpose. They're bringing in their voting base, trying to slowly, slowly, slowly replace the local population. They just, it's right there in their playbook. You vote the blues in, this is what happens to you. They're both the same. Republicans, Democrats, they're both the same. Two fangs on the same snake. You're just choosing the lesser of both evils. That's what that's what it is. That's what politics is ever in the world. Just voting the lesser of two evils. This and Eric Adams made New York. A sanctuary state for migrants. When you vote these people in power, this is what you're voting for. Their policies is purposely to destroy the society, to destroy the states that they govern. It's evil. When you vote them in, this is what happens. You, you can't come to a, a council right now to complain about the immigrant issue when he welcomed it. And how does it make other immigrants feel? Like people that, that came in in the proper channel, they have spent decades trying to get their citizenship and everything sorted. And then people just come through the back door and snap like this. They're in and they're causing havoc and destroying the place. It takes a long time to build something, but it takes a couple of minutes to destroy it. And they've destroyed New York City. Now they want to claim like, oh, we don't, we didn't know it was going to get this bad. Whoever is voting for these people to get to be in office, you deserve the situation you're in. Like I say, it doesn't really matter whether you put Democrats in there or put Republicans in there. The same crap is going to happen. It might just happen. It might just take longer to happen with a Republican in there, but it would still happen. What your country needs is a revolution. Your country has been taken over by the 1% that do not care about the regular people. They believe everybody else should serve them. Like the rest of us plebs are put on this earth to be slaves to them. Literally. And these are the people that own the politicians. These are the people that own your congressmen. You cannot vote your way out of this. <laughs> clown world man this is a clown world people are sitting having their lunch watching live entertainment of someone jump over the border and run away from, <laughs> from the immigration police <laughs> this is a clown world look at this man right he yeah. just jumped over jumped over and people are cheering him on <laughs> Man, 
man is like <laughs> it's like the temper run remember that game temper run this is madness but this is what you vote for this is what you voted for anyone that voted the democrats voted the blues in you're getting what you voted for and the thing is the, the truth of the matter is whether they get majority of the vote or they don't get majority of the vote whoever wall street and the big bankers and silicon valley wants in there so they're gonna put in there it's all rigged it, come on if voting actually made a difference they wouldn't let us do it 